Well, Crystal Palace have appointed Roy Hodgson as manager until the end of the season, and I think it's a move that's symptomatic of a club that first needs to reset itself and then work out exactly what kind of club they want to be. It's worth remembering that um, although Patrick Vieira's appointment in the summer of 2021 felt progressive, it felt like a, a, a sort of dawn of a new era for, for Palace, he wasn't their first choice. They did um, talk to Lucien Favre, they got very close to appointing him in fact until he turned the job down at the last minute. They also talked to Nuno Espirito Santo, they were quite keen on Frank Lampard among a number of other managers and there wasn't necessarily a profile of manager that, that really, um, you know, it was a through line for all those um, different people under consideration. And, and that, I think, is, is, as I say, symptomatic of a club that, that wasn't quite sure of its future direction. And, you know, Crystal Palace have struggled this year. They're the only Premier League team not to win a game um, in the calendar year of 2023. And really, Vieira was unable to get that cohesion with some of the exciting players they've got. You think of... Um, Aveze, Elise, Zaha, obviously those those kind of attacking players. There's some real creativity there, and he's just not been able to get the best out of them. Roy Hodgson might feel like a regressive appointment in that context, but um, and and particularly I suppose if you think about the fact that he came in um, to Watford uh, when they were struggling and he was unable to keep them um, uh, up into the in staying in the Premier League. But I think this is different because he knows the players, he knows the club, he's a local boy, obviously. Yes, he's 75 years old and um, obviously advanced, you know, that's that's the elderly statesman very much so of the Premier League. But I think the fact that he knows the players, the fact that his strengths are to be able to organise a group in difficult circumstances, really um, reintroduce some stability and structure to the team, I think that that it does make sense as a short-term appointment because the idea then is obviously he keeps them in the Premier League. I don't think he would have aspirations necessarily to stay on beyond the summer. And then Crystal Palace, the hard work really will start for them in terms of the bigger vision of the club and, and just what kind of club and side they want to be moving forward because the next managerial appointment will be obviously very, very important for them. They just hope they're doing that as a Premier League club and that's the job that Hodgson has now. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.